Morning YouTube, Animal Man here. Wanted to show you a plant called burdock today. And here it is right here. Very, very large leaves. And this is like a two year plant. What I mean by that is the first year you get a rosette and the leaves get pretty large. They can get up to several feet across. And then the second year, that root sends out leaves in the beginning, but then a flower stalk full of leaves and the leaves get enormous. I mean, they look like elephant ears there up to two feet long, maybe even longer. So um, when you want to harvest the roots for food, it's the first year only, the first year plants. So it's in the rosette stage here, like you see here. And um, here's what the, the leaves look like, kind of heart shaped. You can see it right there. They're kind of fuzzy, especially on the bottom. They're lighter on the bottom. And if you touch them, if you touch any part of this plant and then you lick your fingers, it's so bitter, you know you've got it. And what it does is it's almost like a carrot it sends out a huge taproot and some of these roots can be three to four feet long and thicker than my thumb in the middle and uh, that's the animal part we're going to go for so what i look for is places like this there's lots of um, soil and and wood chips and mulch that's been dumped here i look for areas where it's kind of like a slope where it's very, very loosely and not impacted yet, not smushed down yet. So these roots should be very easy to pull out because I'll tell you what, in areas where it's normal soil and uh, heavily compacted soil, it's very, very hard to dig these out. And what you end up doing is you dig it out a little bit, get exhausted, get frustrated, and you yank on it and you end up getting like the tip of the root that much, which is not what you want for food. Um, it's just not a lot and it's a, it's a waste but i mean the root will send up a new plant next year but it's just it's frustrating so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this and it feels loose so i think the odds may be in our favor with this one let's see the soil's definitely moving when i yank on it just don't want to yank too hard and break it off that's the big thing okay all right, so this is a very, very small one, but that's what I'm talking about. That is the tap root, it's like a carrot. So you get rid of the leaves, I chop it off right here and save the roots and we'll see if we can get a few more around here. And then what you do is you get home, you rinse it off and you treat it just like carrots. You can uh, chop them up, you can um, put them in a skillet, some olive oil, cook them, you can put them in a soup or a stew. You treat them just like carrots basically, but uh, the taste is not like carrots at all. The taste is wonderful. And you can actually you can start to find these at stores like Whole Foods sells them in the, uh, in, the in, in the fresh produce department in the vegetable section and uh, they, I forget how much it is per pound but it is becoming more of a mainstream kind of kind of vegetable. All right, so we're back home now in the kitchen. It's dinner time. Here's our burdock roots we collected. We're gonna rinse them off in the sink and then chop them up and boil them. Steam them too. Some people like steaming. So now that they're laid in the cutting board all cleaned up, you can see clearly how close to carrots they really are. I mean, they look just like carrots. Except they're not growing in garden soil, so they're not like one perfect little straight line. A lot of them have branches and everything, because there's rocks in the soil and things like that. So that's the way they are naturally. So we're going to cut them up into little pieces now and then put them in the pot of water we have heating up. I'm going to boil them maybe about 10 minutes or so until they're soft enough, just like carrots, and bon appetit. And you can use seasonings if you want or, or olive oil or all, all kinds of things, all kinds of ways. You can cook it in a skillet. I've done that before in a skillet. They're wonderful and some olive oil. It's up to you.